<laughs> okay, look at your LA sister, now a Chicago Jeez. sister, yes. Detox. When did you first meet Detox? Oh gosh, you know, it's so weird. I felt like I've we've known each other forever because ev like our paths always cross. Like when I went to Orlando, she, you know, she's from Orlando. So there was that connection and, and her and Roxy are so close and Vicky. So I kind of always knew them, but I first met her and Willem and Vicky when they were touring and they were at Parliament House. Oh. I was performing um, and they were doing the show later that night and they all tipped me and I was like fangirling. Uh -huh. um, but we've always been like really close friends. She just knows, um, like, I don't know, she just oozes like old school drag to me, like girls of, like, she gives me Monica Monroe, which is like a legend in the drag mm. community and like, she gives me the essence of her and uh, she knows her things, you know, she knows her stuff. She definitely <laughs> does. Now, Parliament House, RIP. I can't RIP, believe man. it closed this last fall. Like, one of my favorite places to go. No, it's like COVID's just taking it all. Like, RIP, let's hope, let's hope we can uh, still have a good gay nightlife <laughs> when this is all I mean, done. That... I mean, we're gonna go crazy when this yeah, is done. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're gonna get, please get ready to open it back up when this <laughs> yeah. is all finished. Well, do you have yeah. a favorite memory from Parliament House performing there? Because it's such an incredible place, incredible cast. Yeah, um, yeah. Shout out to to all the former and all the former cast members. Um, that's always a fun group to be with. But I actually won a pageant there. Um, it's called Florida's Baddest Bitch, and <laughs> it was in in um, in Orlando. And I remember I wasn't going to run, but Chevelle kept calling me. Chevelle Brooks kept on calling me. She's like, "Girl, come and get this check." please, uh. come get this cash prize. <laughs> and I was like, for real? She's like, yes. And Roxy convinced me too. And she's like, I'll paint you, I'll do your hair. And so like three o'clock, I was feeding like ducks at the pond and like seven, I was in a pageant. Fantastic. <laughs> and um, luckily it snatched the crown. Snatch yeah. the crown. All right, well, here's another member of DWV, look at <laughs> You were just recently on her podcast. Oh my God, Vicky, Victoria. I love her so much. Um, just, like I knew her forever. We first met at like, I think August Getty's uh, Halloween party and we were inseparable. We were just, it's, she's just such a cool, uh, insightful gal. If you ever get to like get close with her, you'll you won't regret it. <laughs> now she read your tarot. Has you done she your has, tarot reading? She has read my tarot. She has read my my life. <laughs> 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 she read my shoes once. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was like spot on. And she actually has like read me a lot. Like she's done like some some cleansings to me also. Like when I've been feeling down. So she's actually someone I always go to, and like kind of talk to and keep it real and like the meditating and all that kind of fun stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. All right, <laughs> look at her. Raven, Ooh. now you're a Mickey's regular. I mean, you've run into Raven quite a bit, I can imagine. I do, I do. I always love seeing her. Um, she's so sweet, so like I just get lost in her face though. Like it's so beautiful and symmetrical. <laughs> and, um, she's just the sweetest, I love watching her and Raja on Tooted and Booted, like they're just a hoot. <laughs> yeah. Now she had the face that so many queens tried to replicate yes. for so many years. Often duplicated, right. never recreated. Exactly. <laughs> That's now, her face. That is. Her face. Though it's on loan to RuPaul currently. <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you think of uh, when Raven stepped up to take over the RuPaul look? I mean, that is uh, some mighty big shoes to fill and, and like quite a big order to step up to. And I think she's really um, done it. Like she's been so good. Um, the variety, it's, it's, it's uh, her own because no one can compare to, you know, Matthew Anderson and his talent. Um, but everyone has their special techniques and their special ways. So she makes Rue um, look ravishing. Raven. <laughs> yes, definitely. That has that Matthew had that special thing that made her look lit from within. Yeah. And Raven seems to have really got onto that. And I guess yeah. the Emmy voters agree. Congratulations, Raven. Um, uh, now, have you ever auditioned for Drag Race? I actually have not. I've never actually submitted a tape. No. Uh huh. Is that something you would want to do? Um, I, I would never not do it. You know, I would never say never. Um, right. 
So they yeah. called you up and said, Sasha, this is your year. Put it in a tape. I mean, baby girl, if, if, if I get a call, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it necessarily works like yeah, that. Yeah, right. But, um, yeah, it would definitely. It's, I feel like there's a conversation that's happening in, in the drag community and um, with whatever's going on that I feel that uh, it's, drag is being broadened. So hopefully it'll make me feel like I would like to audition soon. All right, okay, now a couple more of your Mickey sisters, look at all. May. May, Mayhem Miller. Yes, I love May. Um, she, I mean, these girls have, were the ones, they were the ones, the only ones that knew who I was, or Miss Continental, it was like Dee and May and Rhea, and they gave me my first bookings and were always so sweet, and I actually just saw uh, Mayhem a few weeks ago. It was really nice to see her in Detox. We were. Uh, doing a little like booking together. Um, we have the same taste in music. We love the same songs. We often do the same songs. Uh -huh. So we always have to check with each other. But um, yeah, I love my girl. Now, I bet you guys love to have a cocktail together from what you've been telling me on this show. I mean, uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> <laughs> you know you all those girls, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a mayhem story that we might not have heard? Oh my goodness. I don't think I have like a mayhem story. Not not like a not a crazy one. She's pretty like chill with me. Uh, I agree. I mean, we've heard <laughs> some crazy ones from her mouth on this show. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's try this, Louine. Look out. Oh, Morgan McMichaels. See, now you're trying me because you know I got some shady stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Morgan. Let's see. What what's so funny? I mean, well, Morgan some, in general. Yeah, I mean, she's <laughs> someone who really seems to always support the local girls. She has. And really has made opportunities for people to perform. She absolutely has. She's done it for all of us, actually, especially, like, the the trans girls and the, the drag uh, pageant girls. When they come to town, she makes sure to, like, set them up, which is always great when you come here to L.A. Like, you can do a cute little tour. Um, and... Morgan's is like always great, always good people out there in um, Riverside and Palm Springs and over here at Mickey's. Um, she actually, speaking of help, we were doing a booking at um, uh, in Palm Springs for brunch and for some reason the, the one of the managers at the Abbey was there and who I know and like we've known each other but for some reason we were all having a drink and she said, you know, you should have Sasha do one of the, your nights. She should have a trans night and you should like do it on a Sunday. Like, and just like said that, and now I have my own night at the Abbey. It's all trans night, pre-COVID, um, called Heavenly Bodies. But it was thanks to Morgan. Yeah. She really like puts that big mouth to work. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless. Okay, look at one of your favorites. Oh, mother. You, you seem to know everyone on her team. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, I'm like so blessed to know an icon. Um, to have her like address me by name, it's wow. horrifying. Wow, now tell me about that. Uh, I've, got to meet, I've gotten to meet her a couple of times. She's always come to the Baton. She's actually been a Baton um, regular before I was there. Wow. So she knew all the girls. She's a, like, she's a very astute drag aficionado. Like she knows her stuff. Yeah. Um, and she actually has my best friend and brother, Preston uh, Manessis, who's her uh, makeup artist for the past 20 years, 15 years, I think. And uh, he was the one that put me together for Continental every year. He's pretty much like my, like, go. He's half a Sasha Colby, pretty much. Mm. He's pretty much, we have been together since Hawaii and made this monster that you see before you. So thanks to him and uh, my drag mother, Cassandra, works for her as well and does her hair. And my drag brother uh, is Gil Duldalau. He's been her creative director for, ah, gosh, I don't know when, since like probably Velvet Rope. Wow. Um, and she has a bunch of Hawaii dancers with her. Um, she likes the energy, and she's just, like, incredible to know. Like, just, um, it's Janet Jackson. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she's incredible. <laughs> and every time I would see her, like, she would come to the show. Like, she came to Nightgowns, actually, uh, when I think it was Pride or something. Um, and they snuck her in, and I did my number, and she wanted to meet Sasha, um, and every time I say hi to her, it was me and Sasha Valor. But every time I say hello to her, I just get like, get, 
I don't know what to say. And she's like, hi, how are you? Like, she knows who I am. Like, right. Preston talks about, like, <laughs> all my friends are around her. So she definitely knows me, and I get all choked up. So it's a mess, and I love her. <laughs> who can blame you? Janet Jackson, we all yeah. love her. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't any of us, right? Like, yeah. what do you say? How do you, how do you make small talk? Right. And not just, like, say, like, you've been, like, an inspiration to me my whole entire life. I love you. <laughs> Sasha. The cheese is good, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one last legendary look. Look at her. Our oh. own Lady Red. Now, you worked with her so many times over I the have. years. I have. I miss her so much. And um, it's definitely, like, you can feel her not here. But you can feel her here. But you can definitely feel her absence, like how how fun the show is and stuff. And I absolutely miss her. I, I remember seeing her, like, most recently pre-COVID, seeing her, you know, at Fiesta. Yeah. Doing the door, like, just being the girl at Foo Bar and always just giving her a good hug and just seeing her makes your night feel, like, great, makes you feel good. And I miss her so much. I know, I walking mean, down the street of WeHo, they were, like, passing every place that she used to yeah, work at right? different times. Yeah, so, Like, God, oh, here and here and here is really, really... And that was, that was the main thing about uh, Lady Red. She was never stopping. You know, she was going to get it, get it all hers. <laughs> That's right. She always did it. She always had her hustle on. Yeah, she sure did. That was, admir like, uh, very admirable. Yes, we miss you, sweetie, and we love you. And we love you, too, Sasha. Thank you so much for being here, doll. Oh, I love you, too. This Can't is great. wait to see what you're going to do once we finally are all locked and let out of prison. Oh, my gosh. Watch out, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you to Adam Joseph and Erica Tor Aviance. Oh. And thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time on Hey, Queen. And look at her. Hit it. Look at her. Look at them. Oh, there they are. Uh-huh, now look at her. See Sasha Colby, uh, she's giving it, sweetie. We love her. Look at her. Bye, baby. See you next time. Now, camera, get out of here.